I first met um, Steve Hilton uh, during that year, and um, I have to say is that I was always I was always interested, not, not least because he was this sort of fantastic modernization guru, and he was seen as this sort of great sort of reforming force, um, not only uh, one that made the Conservative Party um, electable, but also one um, that had made Number 10 into a powerful force. But he is a very um, um, vociferous critic of the European Union. He's famously said that the EU makes the UK ungovernable. Um, to tell us more about that, um, it's a great pleasure to welcome the former Director of Strategy for the Prime Minister. He's the founder now of Crown Pack. Um, he's a West Coast um, citizen through and through, but he's back to campaign here in the UK for Brexit. Please do welcome Steve Hilton. Let me bring, bring you here, right? You, you have been, um, I think, by a lot of people here would actually recognise it, is that if you look at the architects that help create the policy conditions to allow enterprise to flourish, you were right in the cockpit of that. And a direct beneficiary of that has been the growth of the tech sector. Yeah. But the tech sector is not with you if you believe the surveys. Yeah. Time after time it shows basically that the tech sector favours remain. How do you feel when you're so out of sync with a group of people that should be your fellow travellers in this journey? I just want to try and make the argument and persuade people. I think that, um, and, and this is how I sort of start the conversation, um, which is that uh, it's interesting because, as you said, I, I put a lot of effort in government uh, to boosting enterprise, the conditions for enterprise in the UK, but also tech. When the FT says it's a gratuitous act of self-harm to leave you well, they're just this completely morning, wrong. Are they, completely they're just wrong. Anyone will recognise that it's not possible to have a completely open approach to immigration, literally to say anyone in the world, however many that is, can come and live and work in your country. You have to have some degree of control. Everyone would accept that as a matter of common sense. Because we have no control over anyone coming from the EU, uh, that means that we have to clamp down massively on people coming from the rest of the world. The country that complained the most about the impact of the EU on our immigration system was India. And it was the Indian Prime Minister then that said, why is it that you're blocking our entrepreneurs, our business leaders, their families their, from coming to your country? They just want to help your economy. You've got people leaving, going back to India, disinvesting from the UK because of the fact but that we're But he doesn't want he doesn't EU. want us to leave though. Importantly, I mean, so many heads of state the are heads lining of state, up. So I mean, I mean, but I mean, you don't, you, don't th you think that's not completely organised by the British government here? I mean, that's the whole point. That it's the same as with <laughs> well, the, you should know. Right? Same I mean, as with Obama. Is that I mean, how it works? Of course I mean, it is. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not their view. They're just doing their their colleagues so a, a favour. It's a stitch up. I would, no, I wouldn't use that kind of emotional language. The other point I really agreed with. Was well, the, what is it then? Hold on. on a listen, this is no, your no, exact... It's, not a I, it's I, like I, listening to a master at work here. Wait Come a on. second. Let's... I wanted to make a point. Is it I a wanted to do a blatant... Because, you know, in a very pro-enterprise audience, I wanted to do a blatant plug for my business. Well, which so is going to say which your book. Is, in the, not my <laughs> book. No, but much more relevant and useful in this context, which is that um, but the, the context, arguments is it about the EU have been presented in very hysterical ways in this campaign. And so for those still wanting to make up their minds, I would recommend going to crowdpack.co.uk, where we have an objective, impartial guide and questionnaires doing very well. It's not a voucher for um, the book as well, is that? And, uh, no, and, and check it out and recommend it and share it, please. Score David Cameron as a Prime Minister out of 10 for us. I think that I'm not going to give a score, but I do think that you he's. Can, I'm not going to give. It's a only score. being live streamed. I think that. that <laughs> I think that. Um, <laughs> I think that, look, look. I, I don't think anyone would be surprised well, well, to hear me say that. I think he's a very good prime minister. Right. Because a, I'll tell you why. But completely wrong got, on this question. Yes, because uh, and and we totally disagree. But I think that well, actually, funnily enough, I think that he. Uh, you know the the, the 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 sort of things that we believe in about how we should reform public services, how we should run our economy, all those things actually, I would argue, point in the direction of leaving the EU. But that's a different question. I think he's a good. Prime so you Minister. think? So you've said this before. You think he he's really an outer? No, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I said that if he was not prime minister, I believe that he would be for leaving the EU based on his fundamental world view, which is all about people power, decentralizing power, putting control in people's hands. Right. That's, how, that's, what, that's the philosophy okay. that he applies in other areas. And I think what's, what, what's going on, which is a perfectly reasonable position for him to take, is that from his unique perspective as prime minister, 
he thinks that it's in our national interest to stay. Now, only a few weeks ago, he said that we would prosper and do very well outside the EU, but just on balance, he felt that it was in the national interest to stay. We've completely lost that kind of reasonableness in the argument. Now we have this hysterical, ridiculous, insulting kind of uh, uh, his sort of presentation but, of the but risks. A, but a lot of That's these not how he was putting but it. But a lot even of a these people. I mean, I still think like it's like the spreading up of the Bee Gees or something. Because you know, it's George Osborne, it's, yeah. it's David Cameron, it's you. I mean, you were the original members of the band, right? I mean, yeah. what are you going to feel like if you? I mean, I know you've said about you think he's going to keep his job if they lose the vote. I think but, he should. Well, yeah. You think he should? But, I think it, he but, should. but will he? Because Dan, I think uh, because uh, Lord Finkelstein, as is, yeah. says completely the opposite. He said he's spoken to him personally and that he will go. How do you feel? I mean, you're going to be off the Christmas card list for a start. How do you feel? How do you feel if you cost the PM his job um, over I the next few weeks? That's, I, I feel very strongly that he is the best person to lead us for the next, uh, lead this country for the next, uh, for the period of this parliament. He was elected by the country to be prime minister for five years, not for a year or so, depending on how it goes in the referendum. I think that deposing David Cameron now would be just as undemocratic, just as anti-democratic as the EU is. But he can't go on. He won't want to go on, will he? I think, that, uh, I think that he is the best person to lead the process of leaving the EU because he's got the experience, he knows the people, and, and he understands how to do the job. And right. It's now, a big change we, we would be making if we left the EU. I don't think we should at the same time do another big change, which is to get a new prime minister. Fantastic. Well, I mean, more relaxed perhaps, but not lacking any of the traditional intensity. Absolutely brilliant to see you, Steve. Thanks for actually setting out the case. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that you've given a lot to think about. Steve Hilton, thank you very much thank indeed. You. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. 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 Cheers.